All right, uh, we are live. And today is our second qualifier for our tweak December circuit. So we'll have four qualifier throughout the month and we'll have one final invitational for the top eight winners that has accumulated their points through, th throughout the qualifier and fight for an even greater prize, which is an uh, honorable role in our Discord server. So today, uh, I'll be casting and I'll be, I'll be joined with one of our community caster, Mr. Tikorita. Hello, hello, I'm Tikorita. Um, I'm a, actually a mod in um, the Ironwood branch Discord server. If you guys haven't joined us, please feel free to join by typing exclamation mark Discord, I think. Yeah. Game is starting in... One, one minute. One minute. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. last week, our winner, the strongest decoy, is actually not going oh. to play this week. Yeah. So, he, he told us that he had uh, something on and actually he asked us if we could put it on a Sunday but we couldn't because we had already like 70 people join for the Saturday tournament. <laughs> Artifact Shield. But I mean... Never realized we are live on Twitch. Good luck. Yeah, good luck to you ah. too. Are you are you playing Artifact Shield? Your shield, right? So Shield, I remember the name. Shield is you you played in were I think you... he played last week as well. Were you? Is Shield the first for our first tournament? He is right. He he's tied with me. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. He he was tied with you, correct? So good luck to you. Uh, definitely someone to to a player to keep a keep an eye on throughout the tournament. You might get to cast your game. Okay. It seems that our mods are currently kicking out the inactive players. The max the, uh... the max kickings. Comment. It is mass kicking. It's thirty five players to kick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So. So shield a player to look to 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 keep an eye on, and also uh the second place, Singla, is also playing. So, another guy to keep an eye on. So hope. I I think Singla played pretty, um, uh, solid, last week. It's just that uh, the strongest decoy has a really sick deck with all the gold. Uh, stuff. yeah. So I'll change the scene into the game so that you can see the countdown of the player. We have <laughs> a lot of current players and a lot of new ones. So hopefully we can see something interesting today. Yeah, so we have a live countdown here waiting for 12, 14 players, 13 players. So this is the countdown. Of how many players left to be kicked? Nine players. All right, and six players. Team wipe. Yeah, team wipe. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a team wipe. Well, we just went down from. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Two players more to be kicked. One player. And I shall begin the face. All right. So we have an even number, uh, I think. Oh, uh, no, we have an odd number out. So <laughs> which one has been given one game? Which one has been given one free game? Yeah. So it's pretty lucky. <laughs> OK. All right. So who would you like to watch today? So since Shield is our since Shield is our first chatter in the game, so let, let's tune into Shield's game. And Shield versus Candlelight. Both, right. both familiar names. So Candlelight was the one who, who gave suggestions on our Discord. Yeah, he allowed us to cause a massive Discord overhaul. Yeah, so... <sighs> the, the game has a spectating bug where on the first turn where people has hasn't done any action yet, uh, we can't we really, can't do it. Yeah, we can't do anything. Yeah. So let's just 
Wait. So based on heroes, who do you think is a more solid side? Um, I find that Candlelight has better deck. Yeah. This. I mean, in his hand, he's, he already has an Eclipse drawn, so yeah. that's a very dangerous card at turn six. Yes. At, at six, at turn at turn four, it has four charges. You can actually wipe out most hero. And deck. Luna <laughs> is spawned in the very fortunate positions. Yeah. It's not lined up against this master. Okay, so let's just let let's look at their decks. Do, do, do you know how to how, how to show the deck? Yeah, effect? F two and F three. Yeah, F two and F three. So for shield, uh, it's more early game oriented. Late game, it's pretty much uh the primal raws and the spring and trap. the spring trap. Yeah, and yeah. the Ugo conscript. Yeah, so he has three late game card. Yeah. Or uh, or maybe he will go for the win with the Oglody Vando. Oglody Vando seen... to to Oglody we... Vando. Yeah, we have seen people win with Oglody <laughs> Vando, so yeah. we can. I I have been several games with Oglody Vando. Just throw the stones. Yeah. Yeah. So for Candlelight, he has a Thunder Height Pack and a Rose Leaf Jupiter. Yeah, and all the board is... players. Eclipse, yeah. Mystic Flare. Friendly Fire. So I guess. A shield is going to track the Lycan this turn. It's a yes. nice, nice lineup. Or well, Candlelight can respond by playing the Quad Unprepared. Because both of them have no item yet. So let's see what Candlelight do. do. Probably will expect a track coming in and just throw down the Quad Unprepared. Oh, so uh, he decided to go for... I guess it's Punish. Punish quite heavily. So I definitely think that he should have played the card unprepared, knowing that Shield has no items. And... Yeah, and furthermore, he just wasted one of his creep. Yeah. The Vulmata. So, um... If your hero dies when the Vulmata dies, you won't get the Anything, buff off. Right? Yeah. So I have to assume that he will play the card unprepared here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if he, he's saving it, he must be play, uh saving it for some other lane. Yep, yeah. he did. He did. So. Alright, at, at least to cool. save one, tr one track goal, ten goals from giving away to shield. If not, I think the goal, the early goal, mechanic. Oh, is... so <laughs> now the game changes because now he has Mystic Flare. And in lane 1, he has 6 mana, 7 mana the next turn. Alright. So he can kill the Debbie? Yeah. Pretty underwhelming though. They just keep killing one, one hero. Yeah, that's true. I think I'll, my bot didn't post. Uh, announcement didn't allow bot to post. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll yeah. manually post it. Oh, this is a very unlucky situation where... The arrow? Not just the arrow. Even if he kills Debbie, he, the... He, he will die. Scarif was, the Scarif will still die. Yeah, and he has no... Let's uh, say if he item. minus... And look at what shield has picked up. Yeah, a vesture uh, of the Tyrant. Oh my goodness. Do you think it's too early for that? I, I think it, it might be a little bit too early. Oh. Uh, Wow, he, he wants to save his. So so with this Russia, I, I think you don't flare here, right? He's gonna flare? Yeah. And I think. Yeah. There's new orders to push eleven more damage. Oh, he friendly fire instead. Oh, okay. So That's different. Which means that he kills both of them? Yeah, he kills Keith as well, but I mean, it's not really a good trade because you're giving up your Skyraph. Debbie can come back the next turn. Yeah, be if, if it's not because of the Rasher of the Tyrant, uh, it will be a pretty solid trade. You 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 put a blue hero and you kind of trade with two heroes with one extra card. And yeah. those two heroes hit the tower very hard. Okay, so look at this unlucky Jinada prop. 
Yeah, I I guess I, I feel I feel that he should have kept the vesture for the bounty for... so the bounty won't, won't get stunned. Yeah, I definitely mm. think so. I think this is a uh, probably a mistake from Shield's side. Yeah. So he used clear detect, but it only kills a creep, which <laughs> is kind creep. of wasted as well. Did he forget that his bounty is stunned? Yeah, I think he might have. <laughs> That's really un rather unlucky. So, based on the current bot state, uh, looks like it's pretty even. So, right lane candlelight is leading. Not left really lane, lane, a little bit. Left lane is uh, nothing is happening empty. over there. <laughs> empty. And middle lane is having a party. Tight. Yeah. Party lane. Okay, so. There is nothing he can actually do to kill the Favan. Okay. So, Bounty is dead. Yeah. I'll talk to my girlfriend for a while. Can you help me post the. Uh, that we are going live in. Oh, sure, no problem. No, 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 I'm, I'm telling my girlfriend to do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's just okay. texting me. And post the link. Alright. So, and she has two golden tickets. What do you think of these items? Um, golden ticket. It's a very, very risky item to be honest. You are spending quite a lot. You are spending nine gold, and you might even end up getting a, a regular traveler's cloak. So, it's yeah. a very risky item, but there's, there is an off chance that you might get a very good item like Horn of the Alpha. So, it is a very risky play to make, actually. Yeah, I think so too. I think so... <laughs> that go two gold <laughs> tickets, it works kind of well with your payday because you and always get it, but <laughs> I think it's not a very reli reliable way to get high cost items. That, that's what I think. So, right now, um, Candlelight can actually summon his Thunder Hand Pack or just put Cheating Death, which is a very, very disgusting card. <laughs> I think you just put a pack, right? You yeah, can... I think he will just put a pack. And then afterwards, the next turn, he can put Cheating Death on lane 2. Or you can put Cheating uh, De Death on lane 2. Like, yeah, also he decides. Right? There you, you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the arrow. The, the unlucky arrow. arrow. When you say next turn, you mean like the next lane, uh, right? Yeah, the yeah, next lane. So yeah. in this lane, he can either he can actually put Cheating Death to save. I think you play, just... right? There's nothing else to play. Red Mist just dies. Yeah. yeah. So you play Cheating Death here. There you go. Let's okay. look at the odds of any of them dying this turn. So for overkill, he can actually put the shield of Aquila, which he does. So yeah. So Aquila saves most of them, so they are not dying. So right now, it feels like uh, Candlelight is in a really good position. Even yeah. though with the Vesture. She's winning all three lanes at the moment. Yeah. Mid lane is kind of even. Uh... Oops, that's uh. Chicken yeah, but like donated the twenty dollar to Twig. Oh my goodness! Thank you for the donation, Mister Chicken. <laughs> so, do you know who is Chick Chicken? Uh, not really. <laughs> his 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 chick, from ah, oh. he's our mod. Oh, so, hi chick. <laughs> hi chick. Thanks for the donation. Oh, that was a rather aggressive. Flare. But I mean, you, you don't want your Luna to get the damage debuff. Yeah, that is true. So, it turns out that the... That the... Thunderstorm, not Thunderstorm, Friendly Fire works out pretty well for Candlelight, for the first lane. Yeah. So it sets, sets, him, sets him up to win the first lane pretty easily. 
So I, I was thinking maybe the Derby with the Russia should have gone to the first lane instead. Yeah, but there is a chance that he might actually queue off Derby here and try to uh, redeploy him to the first lane. Yeah. I mean, he has a slay in his deck, so that's something he can use to counter the Thunder Head Pack. Yeah. He has one slay, but he has, hasn't drawn it yet. So I, I yeah. think our first lane is pretty much done with the Thunder Head Pack. That's any yeah. damage. We can't really do anything. So, Ravage here and stuns. All of four, them. four of them. Four of them, yeah. So I think this is a very good ravage. Can we lock a candlelight off with seven? Okay, so up. apparently he's saving his Debbie here. Yeah. Which is a very bad play because I think you just let Debbie die, right? You don't really mind yeah. Debbie dying. Yeah, I mean he has rapid deployment. You could have used the healing self on other Heroes did. Hmm. Yeah, so Debbie dies anyway. <laughs> so by the time we reach bot 3, uh, Eclipse would have 6 charges. And it depends on. So can but... she stop that? So with. If she has initiative and you primal raw, it will send the uh, Luna yeah. flying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So if you're shield, you want the Luna to fly but to the first lane, he right? He does not have primal raw. Oh, he, he has... does not have. He that's has Springer true. Trap. So. Okay, so now what's gonna happen? I guess Candlelight is just going wide on the board. I think Candlelight draw is really solid. The draw okay. is really solid, and all the board players are, are, are alive now. So now the question is, will she actually put Springer Trap in lane 2 to try and defend lane 2 or lane 1? Because both of them will actually lose, especially lane 1. Lane 1 will actually lose within a few turns because of the Thunder Hire. So I'm not not too sure with the oh, TP scroll here. Jump. What do you think it's is he trying to play around Eclipse? Uh, or he's trying to defend the first lane. Yeah. I'm not too sure about I think that. I think he's not gonna defend defend uh he can actually put Beastmaster in and if he draws a primer raw, by chance he might be able to raw the Thunder High Pack to another lane. Yeah. Which is a very, very slim chance. Or maybe if he draws Debbie. Hey, if he draws a slave with his Debbie. And he can take out the Thunder Height. Yeah. I, I, but, I, I think you have, to, you have to leave the first lane, right? That's, that's very little yeah. chance. Yeah, so he's going in for lane 2. And in lane 1, the Thunder Height is actually blocked this turn. So only 6 damage going through from him. Okay. You you kinda want the want the crit to block next turn instead of this turn. It will slightly Yeah. Better. Yes. So what's happening here? So I, I guess you're you're okay with your Debbie dying all the time? So now he loses lane 2 as well, almost. Oh, almost. he doesn't? I, I, I think you smash the defense. You have to smash that. The, yeah, you have to smash the cheating death, definitely. Uh, if Else, you, you're not going to win with, with that thing alive. So he's currently sharing our Facebook stream across uh, the different artifact groups. Yeah, you smash. So see what okay, you... so he smashed. Def that is 
one of the most obvious plays because cheating death is a very very disgusting card. Yeah, so... and everybody agrees. Yep, everybody agrees. <laughs> so yeah, this match might actually uh, give him a slightly a higher chance to to to. Yeah, but considering with the Thunder height pack in lane one, um, the chance is not that high because he's not defending lane one. He can't defend lane one, and every turn he's gonna take like thirty damage. If yeah, the Thunder height is not blocked. And in Candlelight's deck, um, he still have other cards like. He has his Red Mist Pillager in his hand right now. So that's something that he can actually put in lane 1 if he managed to get his Tide Hunter there. Yes. Tide Hunter is not dying anytime. So the only way Tide Hunter might, line, might, might land in the first lane is... It's TP or Blink Dagger, which... Or is... the shield, pri shield Primer Raw. <laughs> yeah. That sends him flying. <laughs> So we can see that the two creeps lucky spawning at lane one, which may block the thunder hype, thunder hype pack. So hopefully it blocks. So yeah, and with the face boot on the beastmaster, he can actually uh maneuver beastmaster around and try to have a stronger primary. Oh, it doesn't block. It doesn't block. So it's taking twenty four damage. Paula Vanguard. Ah, so he has two primary round now. Now what I would do is I would try um somewhere along this turn definitely equip the hourglass. That is a very useful card. Yeah, you to... probably want to put it on on the lane that you want your the hero to survive so that you can lock him every single turn. So um in lane three I what Kendall wants to do is try to keep um his initiative for lane three so his Luna doesn't die and he can take out both Keith and the uh, Creep. The, 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 the Ogre the Conscript. Ogre, yeah. So yeah, so this is a fight for initiative. So if Shield has initiative, he can roar or sucker punch. Probably just sucker punch the Luna. Yeah, so now, right now, it depends on what Shield is gonna do. But it, it, it's a really tough spot for Shield. Okay, so he managed to roar... Roar uh, the green, green hero, Farvan, away. Yeah. So I think this is a mistake from... Candlelight. Yeah, so this is a very huge initiative. I guess he, I think he's going to Mystic Flare here. So I think Mystic Flare kills two hero, which is fine. Yeah. But that, that also means that your third lane is you're not going to have the Mystic Flare initiative for initiative. Yeah. So um, he can actually roll out. Luna. Luna. Yeah, so it's definitely raw here. So raw will push seven damage and you will kill the farmer. So if Luna goes to the first lane, I I think she'll has a good chance of winning. But I think yeah. he, he has to deploy the Timosaur to the first lane. Just to yeah, stall, exactly. <laughs> stall a little bit. Oh, he doesn't roar, so Luna is probably gonna Mystic Flare. Oh, uh, I'm not uh, too sure. I yeah, guess, Luna. I guess he is thinking that he does not have a second Mystic Flare. Is this the second one or the third one? It's the third one. Yeah, this is the third one. So, as of now, there are no more Mystic Flares on the deck. So, I think it's looking grim for our shield. He does have one more Eclipse though. So let's see where he draws it. Because right right now the Eclipse would have like 
seven, eight charges. Eight charges on the Eclipse, which is... Which is a lot. Yeah, which is quite a lot. Candlelight has almost drawn all his top, top uh, mana, high mana cards, which is pretty fortunate for him. He has done a lot of heavy lifting. So with so... three Mystic Flare is drawn, Friendly Fire is drawn, Tanite Pack is drawn, two Eclipse, and lost his time, Red Mist Blazer is drawn. So I would say it's a pretty godly draw, or shield. Would you say so? Yeah, it's quite a godly draw, actually. Yeah. Like right now, what I would want from shield, if I was shield, I would want the the slay. The slay has to come. Yeah. Definitely. So, but the first question is, can he survive the last lane? So, is there any way for Candlelight to? Put on lethal. Um, he can still strength, right? He, yeah, but um, still strength is four damage. Shu, so Shu can survive the last lane if he primal rolls, uh, either Luna. He primal rolls Luna. Okay, so that's one way he can actually survive the last lane. Yeah, yeah, he has to do that. But now he yeah. doesn't have initiative. Okay, it looks like the red miss pillager is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Killed by a screwdriver. <laughs> Was it? Isn't it a hammer? <laughs> Is it a hammer or a screwdriver? I have no idea. It looks I like a screwdriver I, to me. Yeah. Because the the Davies passive is called is a screwdriver. So oh, he managed. Ah, there we go. The raw came out he and Fava not not locked the primal raw. Yeah, but I mean, he won't be able to take the turns before he plain one goes down. So I think our uh, can she has to at least drop two heroes on the first lane, and those two heroes probably has to be Keith and Beastmaster. Yeah, but however, she is won't be able to play any cards. Yeah, so there's nothing he can do. Uh, yeah, the card that he is going to draw is going to be locked. Okay, so he's putting all three heroes on lane one. I think that's a, it's a fair play. But honestly, it's very hard right now for sure. A win says it's a spanner. It's a spanner wrench. <laughs> okay, so it's a spanner screwdriver. <laughs> oh no, it's not. A, oh, spanner yeah. is not a screwdriver. Scra it's called a skewer. Is it called a skewer? Yeah. What what do you call it in English? Spanner. Okay, so it looks like the only card that he can play is the primal raw. But do you want to raw here? If you raw, you send send the stuff flying to the lane that you want to win. Is yeah, it... that's that's the point. <laughs> but so, if you um, don't raw, that... you'll die. <laughs> because the only thing he, he can actually raw is the the creep in front of Keith. Yeah. Uh, I I think he gave up, cause he just passed. He he he, he equipped the assassin will. Ah, uh, so okay. So I guess uh, you can another play that you can do is you equip the assassin will on the key. And then you change it. You, you change the target to the right. To. Yeah. And then you then you draw the roof away. Yeah, this draw actually doesn't do anything because you're still taking lethal. Yeah. So he made a very bad play over here. Yes. And that's. Game. That's game. That's that's not game because the oh. dinosaur is stunned, so the stitch damage doesn't go. Ah, through. yeah, that's. Uh, Alright, so yeah, I guess he he can deal strength to get four damage. Four damage, and then he uh, he oh he can't creep the shots. Yeah, so it's game. It's not game yet. Yeah, so he. He, he got away for one more turn, <laughs> one more turn. Yeah, he got away with it. But unfortunately, Lycan was sent to the last lane. But yeah, we know so... that based on Candlelight's hand, he can't have lethal this turn. So again, I guess game still go, still still go goes on.
So it's steady out for candlelight. What can you play the next turn? You can play Fighting Instinct and Disciple of Nevermore. And none of this will be able to save him from dying in the first game. Yeah, so... Why did... Why did he point the Bounty Hunter to the far west? Unless, unless he managed to draw a Slay yeah. and but kill it, off the Thunderhide and... It will, be, it will be locked, right? Oh yeah, that's true, it will be locked. Oh, really? Oh, the Lycan is still alive, yeah. yeah. So I'm not too sure why he did not point the bounty towards the Farron. Yeah. So, uh, one reason that I can think of is he wants to open up the slot in front of him so that he can hit the tower. Because the tower is actually it's taking 17 damage if there's no creep spawning in front of them and it hits straight, which is a pretty significant damage. Yeah, I, I, I guess this is probably game over. There's no way, right? Mm -hmm. to survive. There's no way that he can survive. Oh, the lucky four creep ravage again. Yeah, yeah so. Should, that should be game for our Mr. Shield. Candle yeah, candlelight's win. Uh, uh, our <laughs> <laughs> there's someone in the chat that is that is asking uh, are we cutting behind behind a BDSM session <laughs> because <laughs> I think from your side there's people streaming <laughs> oh um okay so I'm actually casting from a uh, cyber cafe <laughs> so you you might hear my background um I'm really sorry about that but I can't do anything about it. Ooh. Can he win here? That's not enough, right? Steel strength is 6. Yeah, so it's 6. So he gets 6 damage in, but... It doesn't give him enough. Oh, he, he wants to take out the Timber Saw instead. But he, he, he should know that there's two two items. But he, he also should know that, that it's that's nothing that Candlelight can do. Yeah, but there's not right now there's nothing she can do. <laughs> yeah. I mean she can do, yeah. No, from Candlelight's perspective you know he knows that she has two cards to play. I mean even if the creep spawn managed to block the rest of the four he, the four the three uh other creeps and hero. The siege damage from the Thunder High Pack will actually be enough to kill the tower right now. So, yeah. Whirling, Whirling Death is actually one of the good cards he should have gotten early game. One of? Because the Whirling Death is it's a very good early game card. Yeah, it's decent early game. Not very good in the late game. Yeah, it's not very good in the late game. So, if he drew it in the early game, he might have. So and the unlucky crit spawn. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's not necessary that candlelight play or uh, outplay shield. I I think this game candlelight just uh, outdraw shield. As you can see, candlelight is out of cards. So if shield's yeah. tower is slightly healthier, and I think card quality yeah, wise, it... shields sh should be slightly better. All right, so we now we see the concede by shield. Yes, so there goes our first hero. From there are two more games going. Let's hop into the. There's only one one more game going right. Oh, one more game. The Deja Vu game. Oh. Okay, let's watch that. Let's let's hop into that. Shield, shield, yeah, the, the game was over uh, where he had a very, he had Salamines on the first turn and then he, he friendly fire and then he dropped the Thunderhide. 
and at the same time he has three mystic flare and two eclipse it was a very good draw from from him all right so deja vu so based on the boss state it looks like no tower has fallen <laughs> Yeah, so... And... First lane is tightly contested. Second lane probably goes to Head Pity Mall. And third lane goes to Deja Wu. And based on the hand that we see, it's probably a game for Deja Wu. Because he's going to take the first lane next turn, and he's going to take the last lane this turn. And there's actually nothing that Head PT Maul can do. And he has 5 seconds left. Uh, yeah, that's true. So is, is there anything that he can do to survive the first lane? Not really. He has Keith coming. But he must first survive the timer. <laughs> oh yeah, he has 5 seconds left. <laughs> yeah. So, Happy Timor has no cards to actually stop and directly queue off the Thunder Head Pack, so there's nothing he can actually do. Is, is there anything that he can draw? If he do, if he draws Pick Off and, and uh, No Accident, then but we don't we do not know how many no accidents he has already used, so but, but, he might not have any more no accidents in his card. Yeah, there's there's no black hero in the first lane, right? So he can't really do anything. Yeah, that's true as well. He just so... he just TP'd his black hero from the first lane to the second lane. Not TP'd the relentless pursuit. Yeah. Had, had PT more is at zero second. <laughs> the timing Monkers. Monkers timing is it. So, somebody in the chat says you spam spacebar. I actually tried that before in one of my tournaments. I think spamming spacebar actually, when it's not your turn, spacebar actually brings you to somewhere else. I'm not too sure what what does it do. So, what I do, I just spam clicking. Because when it's not my turn, when I spam the spacebar, it's actually. Uh... It will direct me to either the menu or something. I, I remember. Something, something along the line. Alright, so this is probably GG. Yeah, probably. So, so now you probably just sucker punch a creep to BM. <laughs> or you use a newly new chat wheel. We haven't seen any people use chat wheel yet, right? Yeah, me neither. In my games today, uh people it seems like people has not uh really it's not really familiar with the new chat features. But I, I, I'm sure as time goes on, people will use that more and more. So Winter from chat says that had pity more equals no pre dumo equals didn't come up with name. So what language is that? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I guess that is the first round. 